Greetings, Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and we're going to be taking a 360 VR virtual reality immersive tour through the neighborhood called Devil's Pocket. I figured I'd give you guys a couple blocks leeway until we get there so that you guys can experiment with the virtual reality experience. If you've never experienced a virtual reality video, let me explain it to you. If you're watching on a mobile device like a cell phone, all you have to do is turn your cell phone up, down, left, right. You can look all around me and see everything that's in plain sight. You guys can really get a good look at the environment. I'm gonna make a left-hand turn right here on 19th Street because it looks like police are blocking off the next block. Now this video has several options. You can watch it up into 4K pixel resolution. However, YouTube's gonna automatically recommend it to you in the lowest, grainiest resolution. So if your image quality looks a little bit grainy, that's because you gotta adjust your video settings in the YouTube browser. You can set it to 480, 720, 1080, 1440, and 4K pixel resolution. Now in order to watch 4K, you usually need to have really fast internet so it don't lag, but I'll leave that up to you. Usually 720 through like 1080 is a sweet spot. All right, so we are in Center City, Philadelphia. We're gonna be heading to the western portion of Center City, Philadelphia. I guess you could consider this Center City West. Right before you hit South Philly, we're gonna to go to devil's pocket now we are i would say three minutes away maybe four minutes away so when we get there i'll let you guys know when we arrive meanwhile feel free to look around me it's a rainy day it's nice weather overall i would say it's probably like a 70 degree day it's breathable livable it's not too hot it's not humid it's a nice day we're passing the 1800 block of Pine Street. On the next block, I'm gonna make a right. We're passing Waverly. Now we're passing Addison. We're gonna make a right on Lombard. On the 1900 block of Lombard. I'm traveling about 16 miles an hour. We have a beautiful dog on my right hand side, a little cool guy. Oh, we had another dog on my left hand side. We're having a dog overload here. We're on 20th and Lombard across the street. We got Lou Birds, which is a little restaurant. We have plenty of pedestrians out despite it raining. They're dressed for the weather. They have umbrellas and all of that stuff. Passing the 500 block of 20th Street. We have a Jeep that just flew by us. Putting that 4x4 four four to use. Speed limit is 25 miles an hour. I'm doing 18 miles an hour. You got these white buildings on my right side. They're literally painted white, or I guess you can say like off-white. There's a couple of them that's available. Eight revolutionary new homes. Wow. They didn't really look that revolutionary, but let's make this left right here on the 500 block of 21st Street. Look at those shutters. Those are working shutters on my right on Tyrant Street. 2100 block of Tyran. That would have been a fantastic block to take you guys through. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make this right. What's this, Nordane Street? I'm gonna make this right, just so that you guys can experience VR virtual reality on a really tiny block. We can look around. We're on the 2100 block of Nordane Street. You can look up, you can look at the trees, you might see the mount also, but you can look to my left, you can look to my right, you can look up at an angle and see how, what the front of their houses look like. I'm gonna lower this air, and I got the air conditioner on. I tend to get spoiled when you have air conditioner, but I don't want you guys to hear the wind. I want you to hear the raindrops. We have a young woman up here walking with a wonderful green jacket. Green's one of my favorite colors. She has some knee-high rain boots. Check her out. And some colorful pants. She looks like she's in a deep thought. She has headphones on too. 
I have Marilyn tags right here to my left hand side. Make note, we're not in the devil's pocket yet. I just figured I'd take a little detour to get you guys warmed up. Now we're next to South Street. South Street is the borderline of Devil's Pocket, but we gotta get down more. We gotta get down probably, I would say, it's by like 25th Street. All right, so we're gonna make this right here. Okay, this is a do not enter, and then we'll make a left on Lombard. Got some graffiti on my right hand side. Noen and Kalon. Make this left hand turn. We're on 22nd Street, 500 block of 22nd Street, 22nd of Lombard. Look at those houses over there on my right hand side up top. Three story with the wood grain. They literally got wood grain accent. They look nice. To my left, you see they got a bunch of flowers, a bunch of flower pots. Got a young woman right there crossing the street in some spandex and some running shoes. She has her Apple AirPods in her ears. Passing the 400 block of Krosky Street or Krosky, depending on how you want to say it. Looks like they're having a new water heater installed in that building. We're on 23rd and Lombard. We got Cafe Lutesia or or Lutesia right there. So it has the accents. Cafe Lutesia. We got a business right here called Prime Allah Meats on my left hand side. We got a cleaners on the corner. All right. We're passing the 500 block of 23rd Street. Now mind you, as I'm driving through all these intersections, you guys can look as far as you can. She's watering her plants. Wow, it's raining and she's still providing moisturizement for her plants. Isn't that interesting? She's not letting Mother Nature uh, do what it has to do. She's taking it into her own hands. Look at the dog, another nice doggy. What's up, doggy? I got vehicles behind me and if you guys want to see, check, check it out. <laughs> you can actually look behind me and see. All right, we're next to the church that's right by the Devil's Pocket. Passing 24th and South Street. It is currently, wow, it's 4.02 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. As y'all can see, I got my 2215 wristwatch on. Make sure you show some love. Cop up on one of the wristwatches while supplies last. There's limited colors. Uh, supplies are selling fast. I ship them out the next day and also send you a tracking number so you can track your package. Buddy, did you just eat that stop sign? It doesn't look like you even made an attempt to stop. Oh well. But yeah, show some love, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. All support is greatly appreciated. We got the Sanctuary Lofts on the left hand side, 2300 block of Pemberton. right hand side is the devil's pocket now we're gonna start from the bottom and I'll just zigzag through as much as I can make note that it's a small neighborhood so we'll get through it quickly we got the naval square right here on my right hand side you can look it looks like a gigantic mansion past the 21st 24th and Grace Ferry Ave. look at that building on my right that building looks like a gigantic mansion it's huge but I believe it was the naval base or something or naval hospital something of that nature we're passing Grace Ferry Ave and Catherine I got a vehicle behind me so I gotta stay at a steady pace I'm doing 21 miles an hour 21 he probably wants me to do 35 or something passing Madison I'm gonna make this right right here and then we'll begin our little a little Grace Ferry exploration I have did walking tours in this neighborhood before I've did driving tours daytime and nighttime it has an intriguing name I believe the name Devil's Pocket comes from there was a preacher and or pastor from this neighborhood who gave it the name because there was supposedly, um, based on Googled information, there was a group of kids in the neighborhood that were so bad, that were so uh, ruthless that they would steal and they would you know do a bunch of bad things. So the pastor said, you guys are so bad, you would steal from the devil's pockets devil's pocket so that's where the name came from we're in the devil's pocket right now on my
my right hand side we got the condominiums at Gray's Court. We can go down that block. There's a Thai Square restaurant right there. I'm just gonna keep on going straight for, for now, just for now, just so I can show you guys this portion. We'll end up probably doing a roundabout coming back. We could turn left on 26th Street too. Look at the smokestacks up there. Those are the Grays Ferry smokestacks. Devil's Pocket is right next to Grays Ferry. Matter of fact, I should make this left here before we go that way. Yeah, let's make this left here. Let's get this out of the way. Maybe we can go around to the, where the Thai restaurant was at and then come back all the way around. The interesting thing about this neighborhood is that it's called Devil's Pocket, right? They shot a movie in this neighborhood. Mount Rose. Let's make this left on Mount Rose. Why not, right? They shot a movie in this neighborhood, and guess what the name of the movie was? God's Pocket. You can look it up. There's a movie, a real feature length box office movie. And it has, you know, actors, Hollywood actors, and it was shot in this neighborhood. Called God's Pocket. This is gonna shoot us right back to Grace Ferry Ave. Grace Ferry Ave is the border of the Devil's Pocket. When you hear that name, you would think like the Devil's Pocket would be like, like, like a tough neighborhood. Like, you know what I mean? You would think that it would be a, a dangerous, quote unquote, dangerous neighborhood, but none. It looks relatively peaceful, relatively calm. Right off the block, you got the Grace Ferry neighborhood which has a historical bad reputation even though it's getting gentrified right now I can't even go that way so I'm gonna make this left right here <clears throat> look at, I'm just gonna do this big old U-turn look at that trick move you're really supposed to make a U-turn 100 feet away from the intersection but for you guys the viewers of the World Wide Web we made it happen Yeah, this is the borderline, Grace Ferry Ave. I got a house for sale on my right hand side, 2509 Grace Ferry Ave. I'm on the 2600 block of Grace Ferry Ave. I'm gonna make this left again on Christian, but then we're gonna make a right where the Thai restaurant's at. We're gonna go through that little block, then we're gonna make a left and come back out to where the smokestacks are at. This neighborhood's tricky. It's not a nice, clean zigzag. This neighborhood actually. Um, it just shoots you to a couple main streets and then it shoots you back here to Grace Ferry. And if you want to go back to go through another block, you got to come through this again and it just gets redundant. All right, let's make this left hand turn. Turning again on the 2500 block of Christian. Now we're going to make a right on Stillman, the 600 block of Stillman. I mean, the 800 block of Stillman. We got the Thai Square restaurant right here. I'm gonna make this turn. I gotta be careful because it's kind of a little tight turn. Got some Virginia tags on my left. Got Webster Street right here. I'm gonna make this left hand turn. 800 block of Webster. Uh, not 800 block of Webster. No, 2500 block of Webster. I'm sorry. Now we're passing the 800 block of Bambri Street. Bambri right here, not Bambi, but Bambri. You can go down there and shoot it down too, but it's all gonna shoot you to the main street. Two story houses on my left. We got some three story ones right here on my right. We got a new one dropped in. They built that new home and then we got some two story homes here with little roof decks red bricks and stuff. Nice little bike out there. I like that Schwinn. We got an outdoor bench. People can sit outside. Now it's located right next to this little industrial complex. I don't know how you guys would feel about living next to an industrial complex. We gotta be careful here because put that vehicle parked right on the corner. And I don't want to destroy his vehicle, but I also don't want to destroy whatever left, whatever I have left of my wheel. Because I literally just did a tour and went through the most treacherous corner ever. 
cool weather makes me yawn. <laughs> cool weather makes me yawn. And then I just ate, I ate some Quidoba. Quidoba. Girl, you're more than welcome to go, sir. I'm in no rush. Go ahead, you're more than welcome to go. The person behind you wants you to go. Go ahead, you wanna go? Go, I see you in a rush. You beeping at him like you're crazy. You're gonna beep at me like you're even more crazy. I got another car behind me. Y'all can take a look and look behind me and see. That's the thing, sometimes we can't drive super duper slow because the people behind us, they go fast. All right, Christian Street comes right here to the Schuylkill, Schuylkill Ave. Make this right-hand turn. We got the Pico Christian Center right here, on the left-hand side. Passing Webster, 2600 block of Webster. Got a huge lot on my right. Passing Catherine, which comes down. We got the Children's Hospital uh, Visitor Center right here on my left. And you see that building right there, that tall building? You can see it? It's the Roberts Center for Pediatric Research. Female across the street right here. You need an umbrella, man. We're on Bainbridge. 2700 block of Bainbridge. I'm going to make this right hand turn. This is the border, as you guys can see. And then it'll end up cutting off at South Street. So, literally, it's these several blocks. What takes up the biggest space in the Dell's pocket is that naval base. Let's make this left. That was 27th in Bainbridge. But we're going to make this left here because I had the car behind me. Zoom in like a Mazda commercial. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bunch of scrap metal out there. Pots, pans, all types of stuff. Now we're at South Street. South Street is the border. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a trick move. I'm gonna make a left right here. We're gonna do this little trick move on the Schuylkill Ave. And it's gonna take us right back to where we was at. And instead of turning, we're gonna go straight. That's South Street right there. But that's the cutoff point. Like if you would look at this neighborhood on a map, it looks like it looks like this, like almost. Uh, it's probably a bad shape. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a triangle, but I would say like, like it's like I don't know something like <laughs> it's bad. That's a bad description of what this neighbor looks like from from a map point of view. But it's but it's like a like a super chunky triangle with no top. Like they took off the capstone to it, and yeah. Small neighborhood. Passing 27 from Bainbridge. But it's close to Center City. It's close to the heart of the city. Close to the heart of the city, which makes it prime real estate. Passing the 600 block at uh, Taney Street. Or Taney. Make this left right here on 26. Boom. I love my Yorkie. That's what their sticker said. Why oh, I love your Yorkie too? Ah, uh, she just threw herself. In. She said, "Man, this guy's driving three miles an hour. I can risk it." Hope you have a bumper installed, lady. Female in front of us is pregnant. I can see her gigantic basketball belly. Make this right hand turn on 25th and then South Street. Oh, you're more than welcome to go, ma'am. You're a cyclist. Good, you're a cyclist. I'm gonna let all your cyclists go. I'm feeling generous today. Go ahead, cycle dude. Go ahead, Indigo, cycle dude. Cause I'm gonna make a ride on Banbury, so it don't even make sense for me to rush them. It's raining, they're out there getting wet. That's stuff I wish people would do to me when I'm on a bike. Like, just, just let him go. When I'm walking, let him go. No, I'll be walking. They'd be boom, 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 like 20 cars to keep on going. Just let him get wet. Let him get wet. <laughs> like, dang, yo, can you relax? You in a dry vehicle. You're in a climate controlled environment. Relax. They'd be frustrated because you're crossing the street.
Punch buggy, no punch back. Sock whoever's next to you. Mm. I just socked him. Yeah, sock whoever next to you. Punch buggy, no punch back. Let's make this left hand turn. 26, right? <sighs> Look at these buildings right here on my left. They're like four and a half story because the the top of the building is kind of t tall too. I think they're like apartments. Because if there was houses, that'd be a gigantic, that'd be an enormous house. <laughs> four and a half stories. Bainbridge. 2400 Bainbridge. I watch 24 from Bainbridge. Um, uh, she takes us right here to Grace Ferry Ave, and then that's pretty much the synopsis of it. I, mean, I can go down one more block that I didn't show y'all. Grace Ferry Ave. Go down one more block. Look at that. We passed that earlier, but that church right there, they turned it into living space. Wouldn't it be freaky living in the church, right? It'd be kind of like strange living in a church. Nigga, we got joggers. Well, a jogger and a walker. She jogging. You go, girl. Jogging even when the rain come out. That's what I'm talking about. We're passing the Naval Square once again. Remember I told y'all it was going to end up requiring us to come all the way back around in order just to touch another block. I'm going to take y'all through like one more block that we missed. A block or two. Passing Catherine and Grace Ferry. Look at these two little kids just walking around. With t-shirts. With, 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 with their hair out. With shorts. Where are their parents at? I can't fraud. When I was their age, I was walking everywhere by myself too. So. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make a right once again on Stillman, but then we're gonna make we're gonna make a right, a left, and instead of keep going straight, we're gonna make a right and another right. So right, left, right. It sounds like we're doing a PlayStation cheat code, right? Right, left, right, up, down, circle, square, circle, square, R1, R2. Make this left on Webster. After your dog, three hundred dollar fine. Pick up your dog's poop. And now we're gonna make another left once again on Catherine. Ah, uh, Cat Crossing. They got a, a sign there that says Cat Crossing. X Terror. Look like they scratched. Wow, they scratched up the side of that car too. Wow, a couple of these cars are scratched up. Living on these small blocks is a no-no. You better off riding on a bicycle. <laughs> Seriously. Because those first... <sighs> it's just me reminding me when you're on. <laughs> I think it's the rain. It's a cool temperature. Look at packages. One of y'all jump out, grab them. And I've been a big getaway driver. Batman! Say no. That was like a cross between 007 and Batman. Batman! Passing Tanny Street. I'm not gonna go up that way because we already went up that way. And it brings us right back to the Schuylkill Ave. But when you cross over, you end up in um, University City. University City and all that is in West Philly. Once you cross over the Schuylkill River, you are in West Philly. I said, you guys already saw this. I'm not gonna go as slow. I'm only doing 21 miles an hour. But yeah, it'll be the same thing. But you can see something different the second time you go around. The interesting thing about these 360 videos is sometimes you can't catch everything. Not sometimes, you can't catch everything in one viewing. Because if you're looking here while I'm passing a specific area, you're not looking there. And if you're looking there, you're not looking there. Well, you might only just see the ceiling if you look up. But you know what I mean? Front, back, all around, you know? So 
you can actually see different things. 27th Street. We already went on 27th. We got Tanny Street. It's a nice little neighborhood. It's not bad. The, the neighborhood is relatively nice. What's next door? You're next to South Street. South Street is a you know sought after strip. Yeah. With that being said, y'all, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate everyone's support. It's about time for us to wrap this little tour up. I just wanted to give you guys a little uh, close up look at in 360 VR of the Devil's Pocket neighborhood. If you haven't checked out the rest of my 360 VR videos, check out my channel. I got a whole playlist of all the 360 VRs I've done so far, and I plan on doing more in the near future. Turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when every video drops. If you haven't been receiving the notifications, that's probably because your notification bell is turned off. You gotta turn on the little bell that's next to the name Tune 215. Right next to the name Tune 215, there's a little bell icon. Click that bell icon. You're gonna see two brackets go around the bell icon. So you have a drop down menu. It's gonna ask you what type of notification you wanna receive. Some, none, or all. Make sure you click all. So every time I drop a video, YouTube notifies you and send you notifications saying, Tune, you dropped the video. You can check it out. Show some love, you know? Well, with that being said, don't forget to comment up on your merch. I would appreciate that. Share this video. Sharing is caring. This is your homeboy Tune, Mr. Tune215. Tune Dallas, Tune Ski, Tune Let's Pedestrians Ride By. Oh, that's a nice bike, man. That's a Shirley. It's an expensive bike. <laughs> tune Ski, Tuneism, Bad Tune, Tunage, Tune One, Super Tune, Tune Dollars, Tune B, Chilling, Tune Califragilistic Expialidocious. Tuning not ostentatious, but I'm ferocious. Say no. Tune, and I'm tuning out.